Alright, today we're going to be checking out some ESS protective eyewear. I haven't worn either of these items very much, so I can't give you a full review on how they perform. But, I can kind of give you an overview. Have you check them out, just so you can get a look at what you're dealing with here. In case you're looking to buy either of these things. Uh, the first one is the ESS Flight Pro Goggles. These are pretty much, from what I've been told, especially is a standard issue for the Army overseas. Um, they're really lightweight. There's barely anything to them at all. The plastic's really uh, lightweight, as well as the, the foam liners on the inside. There's, I mean, I guess they're a little cheap feeling. I mean, it says you should have to take the actual lens out in order to pop these this side off but I mean you can just pry it right off and that's actually how I got the speed sleeve on just a protective sleeve so when it's sitting on your helmet it doesn't get all banged up so you just pop that off slide the sleeve on and pop that right back on also one thing I added I ordered these tear offs and it comes with a pack of six in every order so and they're fairly cheap they weren't too bad but you can put one or two of them on at a time I think you probably put more than that but then you risk grabbing you know more than one and peeling all all of them off at the same time you can stack two of them put one tab on this side one tab on this side so you can just pull back and forth as they get dirty or scratched or scuffed up uh, you can do it on the fly during the operation or you can just use them pr to protect your goggles in general to keep the lens from getting all jacked up on the inside, <clears throat> you have some real light foam. In the middle here of the frame is also, you know, on the nose piece and around your face. This uh, seems to be very breathable. I haven't used these, but I got a couple guys that have, and they tell me that they don't really fog up at all. They actually perform really well. And of course, they're ballistic as well, so that helps. Um, but this is pretty comfortable. I've worn them on my face. They feel, you know, they're really light and, and the foam is soft, so you don't really feel them there very much. And this foam is real thin. You can actually almost see through it. If you put light behind it, you can almost see through it. You can catch it on the camera. These also come with a smoke lens. So it comes in a nice little sleeve like this. You can pop in the smoke lens too if you need some more of a shaded view. Uh, it's not too bad to take out. <clears throat> you literally just kind of pull the frame apart and slide the lens out and pop it back in. It's really not a big deal. Seems pretty easy to do fairly quickly as well. I don't know how much I'm going to use those, but they're worth having around. Nice to have, especially if they're easy to change. I also, back here, this comes on the strap itself. I didn't put these on. Some Velcro, uh, adhesive Velcro tabs. These are actually uh, sewn in to the strap on this side, and then these are going to stick to the back of your helmet to keep your strap from sliding up or down. A little bit of flex here. They should fit fine under a helmet. They're pretty low profile along the top ridge, so. You shouldn't have a problem getting them underneath the helmet, no matter what you're using. They kind of click into place too when they come down. These little these little arms kind of click into place here in these grooves. So that's the ESS Flight Pro goggles. Now I'm gonna move on to the 5B 911 Memorial Gray Frame sunglasses. So just popping them out of the box here, you can see the Remember 911 sticker. It says that 25% of all the sales of this product will be donated to support the victims of the families affected by 911. So dump everything out here. I don't know what that is. Comes in a pretty nice sleeve. <clears throat> Oakley has one of these kind of similar, but it's a subdued color. This one's actually pretty cool because it's in full color. Comes with another sticker. And these are the sunglasses. 
guess the lighting just changed in the camera, I don't know why. Uh, I've worn these a little bit, you know, not extensively, but uh, so far I like them a lot. You know, they're ballistic glasses, like shooting glasses, but you know, they're actually uh, made for everyday wear as far as sunglasses go, and that's what I got them for. I didn't get them just for like the range or shooting or anything like that. I got them to wear every day because I got them at a pretty decent price and I like the look of them. And, it, and actually they're a polarized lens as well. So they're pretty nice. They got the laser etched. Remember 9-11 if you can see that. And as you can see they're mirrored because you can pretty much catch a reflection of everything in the sunglasses themselves. Um, they're pretty heavy duty plastic. Uh, they don't, the hinges seem really well made. They're, they're pretty heavy duty but it looks like if you were to put some pressure on them they would pop out which is better. I'd rather have the arm pop off than break off. So you know, I haven't had that happen yet but hopefully I don't have to worry about it. But as with any pair of sunglasses, eventually you're going to lose them, break them, shatter them, do something to them, and you have to get a new pair, and that's exactly why I have these. So, you know, nothing's indestructible. But this is nice and thick. I don't, you know, depends if you like a, a thick arm like that. But they wrap around really well. As you can see, they're, they're really contoured to your face. They don't stick out uh, on the side of your face very much. They wrap around, and that's because they're ballistic, so they're designed to give you that full protection all the way from you know your nose piece to your temple they're also pretty lightweight for being as thick a plastic as they are um, I've had Oakley's that are probably lighter but they probably haven't had as thick of a frame either so you gotta take that into consideration but overall I like these these are the these are the 911 series so I think they're the only ones that come with the gray frame and the polarized lens like that. No padding on the nose piece, just your standard plastic nose piece, no foam or anything like that, which means nothing's going to break down and fall apart over there. The arms, they have a little bit of a tension right here, just from the plastic, uh, probably little knobs that fall into place so you can see they kind of snap in when they come out so they're not just wiggling in the wind you gotta put a little bit of you gotta put a little bit of pressure to get them to close I think I read online these will take a shotgun blast to the face of buckshot at I don't know like 10 yards or something I don't know, I'd have to look it up I'm not 100% honestly if you're getting shot in the face of buckshot at 10 yards you're probably having a worse day than what your glasses are, so <laughs> I'm not willing to attempt that or try that in a review. So we'll leave that for ESS to put out there. But ESS stands for Eye Safety System. So again, you're getting a ballistic, a ballistic lens and frame, along with a pretty stylish pair of sunglasses as well. So if you're in any sort of a theater where you need both, or you just uh, like to look at these in general. You get to add a benefit of the ballistics. So, so far I like them. If something changes, I will let you know. So again, we just reviewed the ESS 5B 911 gray mirrored polarized lens sunglasses as well as the Flight Pro goggles with the speed sleeve and the tear offs. And I'll show you these real quick. These come with just this little. Uh, not much to them. It's thin little plastic. They don't. Uh, I have the one on there now. They didn't seem to mess with the vision at all. They go on pretty clear and easy. They just have a little protective layer of paper there. Take that off. Slap them on. They pretty much adhere right away. They actually go. You push it underneath the rubber frame, so that's what kind of what holds it in. And you know, they don't slide around very much. They stay in place pretty well. Just forgot to mention that. Alright, again, thanks for watching. Check back for some more reviews, some Duracoat projects, and uh, 
some other stuff hopefully come up soon. Thanks.